few people have asked me what my favourite lens are for car photography and just general photography so I thought I'd make a quick video um, just to say what my favourite lens are to use and I know it's a bit subjective because people use Nikon, Sony, Panasonic but I myself am a Canon user so I'm going to be talking about the Canon lenses that I have. My favourite lens and it's the one that I mainly use would be the 24 to 70 mil f2.8 mark ii from canon i have no problem taking this as my only lens for any situation car photography you do portraits you do landscape i absolutely love this lens because it's so versatile um on the maximum aperture of 2.8 it, it really is all you need this was an upgrade from the 24 to 105 mil f4 is lens that i had and i can honestly say that the 24 to 70 lens is so much better and so much sharper as well to me, the image quality is sharp, the focus is so so fast, colours and contrast looks amazing. It's my go-to lens for all events. A majority of my car photos are snap of this lens. As I said, I have no problems taking this to any event solo, just by itself. This lens is not just great for car photography, for absolutely everything as I said, for portrait, for landscape, etc. I believe this could be one of Canon's finest lens. I bought this lens brand new and it cost around £1,400 at the time, which I th which was quite expensive. However, it is an investment and I know that you will get sharp and versatile images once you do. To me, as a photographer, I think it is important that you have a zoom lens such as this. It is, trust me, it is a fantastic lens. My second favourite lens is the Canon 50mm 1.2. I prefer this than the 35mm because of the magic it produces. The depth of field, the bokeh is insane from this lens. When it works, it's awesome. However, at 1.2, it is known that the focus can be can be a bit hit and miss, if you like. Um, I would say that maybe out of five shots, two of them would be in focus. It is a frustrating lens whenever it doesn't work with the focus, but as long as it's calibrated, which is what I have done recently to mine, um, it actually is. It makes a huge difference. I love using it for detail shots too. People buy this lens for its huge f1.2 aperture, so shooting a whole car may get you some out of focus areas, which is why I use it for detailed focus subjects like badges, steering wheels, gauges, etc but it can still be used for a whole car and it also is a fantastic lens for a portrait. I use it for my child's Instagram page, all his photos from his Instagram page. The Canon 50mm 1.2 needs no introduction really, it is a magical lens. It's something that, uh, it's very desirable and it is a fantastic lens whenever, it, whenever you get it in focus. My next favourite lens is my 70 to 200 mil lens. I have the f4 is version. This is what I call my lazy lens. I use this lens whenever I'm too lazy to get out of the car if you like um, or if I'm or if I'm not wanting to move too much. But zoomed in at 200 f4 the background is beautiful due to this compression. This lens like my 24 to 70 lens I trust it its autofocus is fast it's accurate it's sharp the colors are awesome I would love to upgrade to the 2.8 version however I didn't think I needed it there hasn't been a time when I thought I should upgrade or wish I had a bigger aperture usually whenever I use the 70 to 200 it's always in daytime I never use it for nighttime for nighttime shots I have other lenses but since we're talking about more about car photography, 70 to 200 is a really, really good lens for me to walk about around events or even to do certain shoots. And being at f4, people think that it's not a good, a very good lens compared to the 2.8. Whilst that may be true, I think that there is a balance at f4 at 200 mil. As I said, the depth of field is amazing during this compression. The colors are awesome. At f4 is actually sharp compared to the two at 2.8 in my opinion. Right guys, I know that was a quick video but they were my three favourite lens. I do have other lenses that I would love to give a mention as well but I'll save that for another video showing you my setup and what kind of lenses I have for 
As I said, it all depends on the situation, but these are my favorite lens for car photography. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.